Good day, good day. Welcome, welcome. So if you're here on the channel watching this video, then you are serious about your relationship with Christ. Um, you are a believer, okay? Um, which means that you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, okay? Um, if you are on this video and you do not yet um, know the Lord or you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I open you to, I open you to that, to becoming saved, all right? And it's nothing that I have to do. What you have to do is just simply ask God, go in prayer, close your eyes, and tell God that you believe his son Jesus died for your sins and that you want him to come in and be your Lord and Savior. That's all you have to do. Once you do that, the Lord will accept you as his very own. And then you can definitely partake in this fast with us. That'll be actually a great way to start a relationship with Christ. All right. But for those of you who are here and you fasted before and you know all about fasting, then I welcome you um, to this particular fast in which um, the Holy Spirit has been nudging me. Um, just yesterday I was supposed to come live and actually, um, give a clarion call, uh, for a, a community fast or a corporate fast, if you will. Um, so I'm doing it now. Okay. Better late than never. Right. Um, so basically the, uh, spirit of the Lord has been speaking with me in regards to this, um, Ever since I post the message on Facebook about sanctify, um, that that is when the Lord was kind of like nudging me into, okay, it's time to start fasting again. All right. So this fast, I don't want to talk your ear off. This fast is going to be a Daniel, a 21 day Daniel fast. Okay. If you've, um, you know, did the Daniel fast before, then, you know, the key verses will be Daniel chapter one verses eight through 16 and Daniel chapter 10 verse 3 okay um if for if for if for whatever reason you are unable to do a 21 day um Daniel fast then do whatever the Lord is is calling you to do okay um the three main fasts that are significant in God's uh eyesight that will get God's attention if you will um, I mean, any form of sacrifice will get God's attention. Don't get me wrong. But the best are seven day fast, 21 days and 40 days. Okay. Those are the three main fasts. There's also a 10 day fast, um, in which is found in the book of, uh, Daniel, the first chapter. And I believe the 15th verse. So yeah, if you cover between, if you go between the verses eight through 16, then you'll run into this scripture. Okay. It's where he, uh, fasted for 10 days. Okay, as well. So a 10 day fast is great as well. Whatever, whatever the Lord is uh, calling you to do is the best, the best thing for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is, you know, on their own particular journey. You know what I'm saying? So you know what you have need of. Um, you know what, and even if the Lord has been calling you to a fast, all right, um, just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. All right, but feel free to fast from anything you can do. A three-day fast is good, um, but that's not going to be a part of this particular fast. Um, but if you want to fast, like, from things, you can do that. Like, fast from using profanity. You can fast from using social media. Okay, you can get creative in what you choose to sacrifice for the Lord. But the Lord is calling me and anyone else who is willing to join me to a 21-day Daniel fast okay so it will begin on tomorrow however I've already begun but I'm going to end with you all okay so I'm gonna go some extra days all right um but it's going to begin tomorrow which is May the 18th and it's gonna run until I believe June the 2nd and that will be a full 21 days okay um, some of the things that you can have if you do decide to do the food choices, uh, the guidelines for the Daniel fast, um, you can have whole grains. Okay, so brown rice, oats, barley, Ezekiel bread, whole wheat pasta. 
You can have legumes, okay, dry beans, pinto beans, split peas, lentils, black eyed peas. You can have fruits, apples, you know, all kind of fruits, all right, vegetables, all kind of vegetables, raw, dried, however, okay, seeds, nuts, liquids, um, beverages, in other words, spring water, distilled water, 100% all natural fruit juices, 100% vegetable juices, not from concentrate. Okay, um, natural sweeteners, you can have honey, raw honey, okay, maple syrup, um, they have a brown rice syrup, and organic cane sugar, okay, you can have natural spices, cinnamon, garlic, onions, nutmeg, pepper, thyme, sea salt, Mrs. Dash, etc. You can have other flavorings such as balsamic vinegar, other flavored vinegars, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, the foods that you are not to have, all right, include meats, okay, seafood, white rice. You're not allowed to have caffeine or carbonated beverages, okay, foods containing um, additives, preservatives, no processed food, no refined sugars, okay, no sugar substitutes, no white flour, no margin. Okay, no um pasta, high fat products, none of that kind of stuff. Butter, Kool-Aid, bread, none of that. Okay, you also want to eliminate alcohol, smoking, chocolate, candy, sweets, salty, etc. All right. Um you may experience um, you know, a cleansing crisis is what they call it, slight headache, fatigue here and there. Um, it usually, it usually takes place around, um, day five is when you start to feel, you know what I'm saying? These types of things, but I mean, you are still able to eat. So you definitely want to try to eat something when you feel like that. Um, but definitely try to stick to what, um, is allowed. Okay. Try to, try to stick to the guidelines of this particular fast, um, Every day I will come live and provide a scripture for you guys. So make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Okay. Um, I want to definitely lead you guys into prayer um, as well. Okay. So this is just the introductory uh, video for you all. You know, just it serves as a sort of sort of welcome and a sort of guide. Okay. But I will be I will come live on tomorrow to actually um initiate the uh fast okay so i'm gonna begin with the prayer and everything like that um yeah so if you have any questions oh before i uh go there is a video in which i did about three weeks ago it's found on my playlist if you scroll down um it's titled the importance of fasting i encourage you to watch that video Okay, I speak about fasting, the benefits, and I also tell you about the story, um, my testimony of my 40-day fast and what and why it was mandated, okay, and some of the things that God worked out in my life, all right? So, that'll definitely help to put things into, into perspective. Also, before you enter this fast, it's, it's good to go to God with the things that you, you know, make your request known unto God you know communicate with god as to what you're fasting for okay and um yeah just make sure you you have that goal or intention already set before you before you begin all right so i'll see you guys on tomorrow and again welcome to the 21 day daniel fast again this is what god has called me to if you if you want to join i welcome you if, if you want to do your own kind of fast, feel free. All right? All right, guys. I'll see you on tomorrow.